Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. I know, I know, I know. You come back here every single day to get another magic review from me. Thanks, thanks so much, that's awesome. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, I'm a teacher, I'm a magician, I'm also a content creator here on YouTube, and I've enjoyed making these reviews for you so that you know everything about the latest and greatest tricks and cards that are coming out in the market today. But, but, I bet you didn't know this, uh, I was not the first. I was not the first person to come up with the idea of doing a magic review. There's been, there's been many, many a magic reviewers before me. There'll be many long after me. There's a ton right now. I mean, there's a good nine, 10, 11 magic review channels out there on YouTube right now. They're great. You should be watching them. You should know them, listen to other voices. But before I started, there was the original, the original magic reviewer, Jeff Stone. Jeff Stone, uh, Stone Cold Magic, that's right, Stone Cold. Not, not that Stone Cold, another, he, he was Stone Cold long before Stone Cold uh, was Stone Cold. Jeff Stone uh, was a magic reviewer, but also a legit magician and a creator, a creator. Um, I, I kind of lop Jeff Stone into the same category I would put uh, Jay Sankey. And I, I hope that's okay because Jeff Stone uh, was funny like Jay Sankey and very creative like Jay Sankey, just a very out of the box thinker, like somebody who was able to take some moves and some slights that we all know. Uh, nothing too hard, right? Nothing knuckle busting. He wasn't that kind of magician. He's not like the flourishing, fancy magician, not the gambler type magician, more of um, somebody like Sankey, maybe somebody like Daryl, you know, somebody that takes both comedy and creativity and melds them together. Um, over at his website, stonecoldmagic.com, uh, he's got just a pile of stuff uh, that are, that's in his store, uh, books, DVDs, downloads. Should definitely go check him out and very affordable. Today, uh, looking at something. This was a DVD. He sent this to me as a DVD. It's called Gemstones, right? Gemstones. Uh, but I believe it's now a download. So download, 20 bucks, okay? 20 bucks. And it's a collection of just, just about everything. There's card tricks in this, coin tricks. There's a trick with a lollipop. There's a trick with a film canister. Uh, this, there, it's, just a, it's just a whole bunch of fun. Uh, you're gonna see a ton of stuff. And that's everything from coins to keys to rolls of film, candy, office supplies. You're gonna see how Jeff uses very classic moves in a different way. And I think it would even fool some magicians. You're gonna see and learn one of the cleanest vanishes of a playing card or a dollar bill you'll ever learn. Plus, you're gonna have access to a whole special bonus website full of extras and additional effects. And of course, uh, these videos are a little older, okay, a little older, so they're not shot in widescreen, they're shot more in box format. Um, uh, it's, this one has a tracking camera, so I think Jeff has a cameraman who kind of follows and pans with his movement, so the camera's kind of always moving around at, at what you want to focus on. Jeff has a out of, out of camera range arm <laughs> that comes in and acts as the spectator every now and then, and so uh, that's nice. So again, you're not gonna you're not gonna get like over the top production values like that, that we're not used to today. It's gonna feel a little older, but for twenty dollars, you're getting just a huge huge pile of fun creative magic. For instance, you'll learn quasi photo where a card is selected, torn in fourths, placed into a card box, and the card then floats invisibly back to the film canister, and it's restored, leaving just a single corner in the card box. Visa 2.0 you'll have a bunch of playing cards. You're gonna write Visa on one of the playing cards. You're gonna show six different items that you could have purchased and the spectator will make a selection and you reveal that that selection is what you bought also. Quarterback, an envelope is shown and a card is selected. Inside the envelope is a quarter. Their card is lost and then magically, the quarter and the card change places. In Doctoring Daily, you'll learn Jeff's handling of Dr. Daily's last trick. In Miser's Nightmare, four quarters become three, then become two, then become one, all with a little 
extra flame. Donnie's orbits sucked up, a quarter penetrates all the way through a sealed lollipop wrapper. In Most Triumphant, you'll learn Jeff's handling of a borrowed deck triumph effect. In Triptych, the spectator selects three cards, they're lost in the deck, and one by one, you reveal them in a new and different way. It's a nice little sequence. In All for One, a spectator calls out any value, you then find its mate, the spectator then uses the card as a stab and finds the other two in the deck. In Safe Key Ping, this is a trick done with a borrowed key, you add one of those little colored key covers to it, the key is placed in the box, the card box, and you hold on to the key cover, and then the key cover vanishes from your hand and materializes back on the key inside the box. In Synchronicity, two cards are randomly selected and both the Magician and the Spectator each draw a shape on their cards. One card is placed in the box and with a wave, they change places. In Under My Skin, a card is selected and lost and placed in the Spectator's closed hand. You then introduce a dime, it vanishes and lands not on top of the card, but inside the card. And this also comes with a tutorial in card splitting. You're gonna learn Epicenter, you're gonna learn how to do the back palm, and then there's four extra bonuses, including some final thoughts, crediting, and thank you. Incredible, visual, practical magic. And well within the reach of any intermediate performer. If you know Jeff Stone, you're already familiar with his work, this is another great one to add to the collection. And I'm just appreciative of him and his legacy that's out there on YouTube. Those videos will always be there for us to go back to and appreciate and watch. And I think uh, all of us, all of us magic reviewers that are currently out there, we all owe Jeff a uh, debt of gratitude for paving the way. And uh, he's also a nice guy and he's got great taste in music and big huge thanks to him for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you and definitely go check out Stone Cold Magic and see what he's offering for sale. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would, did you know I have a second channel? That's right, I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place, kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.